Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Mistake here and today I have an absolute banger of a video for you guys. Today I will be fully explaining how to do the Shaolin Shuffle God Mode glitch. I want to tell you this is the best glitch to ever exist in this game. It is the most overpowered, fun, accessible, and just frankly easy glitch you could possibly do to get God Mode. And this glitch does include infinite keys, XP, weapon XP, anything you guys need high rounds it's on here but if you guys do end up enjoying the video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this just let me know what you want to see next and i will try my best to get to it but yeah let's get straight into the video guys all right guys so the first step of this glitch is building the boom box so there's four possible domino spawns and i'm going to show you exactly where each and every one of those are but you got to open this door across this bridge and then you have to head over towards this door next to the perk machine and you'll see the domino table right here for the boom box. So there are four possible spawn locations for the dominoes. One is going to be by these bricks right here. The next will be on this wire table here. And every time you collect one of these, you can't hold two at a time. So you are going to have to bring it to the table right away and hold square or X depending on your console and place it on there. And you'll see a bright yellow sign. So the next two spawns, one will be on the steps right here next to it. And then you go straight above this spot, turn right. And by this wall, there's pink cans and it will have the last domino spawn possible there. So it will never spawn in all four. There's only three locations possible in one game, but don't forget to pick up the boom box. This is very important to do the glitch itself. All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to build the lava lamp now because a lot of people are asking me, but it's going to be down here in between power and the box. So the domino table is for the lava lamp and it's going to be across over here on this wall. Alright guys, there's also four spots for this. The first one possible is going to be down here on this table next to the booze and alcohol. And just like the boom box, you guys are going to want to put these on the table immediately because you cannot hold more than one at a time. And it's just going to be square or X depending what console you want. And this one's going to be with a bright red sign this time. So the second possible spawn location is going to be in this pile of rock and trash and you just kind of have to fill around, hold square or X and you'll find it. And then another possible spawn location is right here on the corner. I was being kind of stupid and just kind of walked right by it. But if, if you come like right by the railing, it's, it's gonna sit right there. And then that'll be the possible locations. The fourth one I believe is near the staircase. Um, I, I'm not really sure, it's kind of like a hit or miss. I just kind of run around and look for them but it's not that hard. And that's how you guys build the lava lamp in case you need to dock. All right guys, once round five hits, you're gonna go to the Black Cat Dojo and you guys are gonna wanna speak with Pam and you're gonna get the Crane Chi. This is gonna be the blue one that I just looked at. What I'm doing right here, just ignore. I will completely explain how to do this towards the end of the video, but all that you have to worry about is getting the Crane. So once you do get the Crane Chi, as you can see in the top left corner, you need to get a certain amount of kills while you just punch or kick zombies. So this is pretty easy. Um, all you have to do is kill about 25 zombies while you punch or kick. And then after this, there will be another little phase and I'll explain that once we get there. All right guys, so once you've completely leveled up the punching the zombies, It'll say crane rank one and now you have the ability to pull out a shrieken and if you do hold this it'll glow a bright blue and if you jump you can throw it at three different zombies sometimes four but jumping makes it more accurate and killing three zombies versus one makes us go by a million times faster and make sure you do do the trick that i will show you in the end of the video so just watch the whole video before you guys attempt doing this glitch because there's a lot of good things to know and i'm not just saying that to make you guys watch the video i'm genuinely making this video to help you guys out in every single way possible so just stick to the end of the video before trying this so it'll be as clear and you know easy as it can possibly be all right guys so once you've completely leveled up the shuriken phase you guys are going to see crane rank 2 pop up and this will be lb for xbox and i believe it's the bottom left trigger for playstation 
but once you get this, it'll give you the ability to put your fist up and pretty much just, I guess, explode zombies. And this one goes by a lot easier. So, you know, you can kill about 10 plus zombies at a time. And doing the trick that I showed you, you'll be able to do this the entire round. But doing that trick, you guys need to make sure that by the end of the round that you guys put it away. Even if you have both of them, you have to make sure they're both used and put away or just cancel it and to cancel it, it's gonna be right on the D-pad. And like I said, this will make sense later in the video. I'm just clarifying this so you guys don't miss that and mess up. Okay guys, so once you guys have gotten the crane rank two, where you kind of explode zombies, you're gonna see crane rank three pop up and this is gonna be LB and RB or for PlayStation, I believe it's the left trigger and the right trigger at the same time and you'll do a crane kick. So this and the boombox is pretty much the entirety of the glitch. Um, there's just, you know, plenty more things you could do with it. But for the God Mode glitch, you need to have your crane rank three so that you can do the crane kick and you need to have the boombox or the lava lamp. All right, guys, so to do this glitch, you're going to walk up to the crane sheet and you're going to hold X, left, right, left on the D-pad, hold X, left, right, left on the D-pad, look at this door and crane kick. So you can do this anywhere you guys want to, but in the little dojo area, it's easier to just kind of aim through that door and crane kick. If you need to turn your sensitivity up or down, make sure you do that. But you need to be able to turn around on time because once that crane logo appears, you need to crane kick. And I'm gonna slow this down here in a second and explain every little detail about this glitch so you guys are confused. I'll explain it here in a second. All right guys, so you're going to hold X or square, left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, left on the D-pad. And then once you see that you can do it again, you're gonna hold X or square, left on the D-pad, right on the D-pad, left on the D-pad. You're gonna turn around and then you're going to crane kick. And when you crane kick, you're not gonna crane kick the second you see the blue pop up. You're gonna wait until that logo completely pops up but don't wait too long just wait until you can see the whole logo and crane kick it's that easy guys okay guys i'm gonna just explain the crane kick real quick and how to completely time it and when you see this logo when you're gonna actually crane kick so when it fully pops up and it looks just like this you guys are gonna crane kick and you'll have the god mode it's that easy guys let's move on Okay guys, so I'm gonna explain what the lava lamp's for. This is if you can't melee, you can't jump, or you can't move. So if you're worried you're gonna get stuck, don't get the boombox, get the lava lamp because it'll come in handy. So you're gonna just set this on the ground and as you see, it's just gonna kill you. That's all it does. It's gonna put you in the afterlife arcade. You're still gonna have the God mode, but when you get out, you wanna make sure you're jumping and doing so, this is gonna give you back your jumping, your meleeing, and you will be able to do the entire easter egg no problems make sure you get up in atoms though because this is very important you never know what can happen if you're doing the boss fight but if you're just sitting afk farming you really don't need to worry about it but make sure you guys get the lava lamp if you're not really confident you're going to get this glitch first try and you think you're going to get stuck but if you guys are interested in doing the easter egg or little side quests for this map this god mode makes all of that possible. You can do every little thing on this map. You can get every single achievement for the map and you can do every single challenge for the map. So make sure you guys do this glitch and try to do the Easter egg. It's, you know, a really good way to learn. But if you guys are looking for a good spot to sit, either go to the rat's lair or sit here in the subway staircase. And this will get you to any high round you really want. Um, it will go as long as you want it to, but you have to make sure your controller does not shut off. If it shuts off, it's gonna pause the game and you won't be getting, you know, your XP or whatever. So if you're just sitting by your controller, make sure that you just, you know, tap a button, move a joystick, shoot a bullet, whatever. You can use a hair tie or a rubber band. And if you do that, you can attach it to the joysticks and it'll, you know, like make your character move around so you don't get kicked. But if you don't do this right, it will still turn off. So just make sure that um, your character is moving, you know, in a not too robotic way, but he's, you know, inching around the screen or you can just, you know, check in on him. 
All right, guys, I'm going to show you guys how to do the double chi glitch so that when you are trying to do this Easter egg or glitch, it's going to go by a lot quicker. So you're going to pick any chi that is not the crane chi. Make sure it's not the crane chi. It doesn't matter which one it is. Just use the crane chi. Now hold out a grenade. And as soon as you throw this grenade, you're going to hit right on the D-pad to activate that chi you just picked up. And now you're going to pick up the chi that you want. So in this case, for you guys, it's going to be the crane chi. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it's going to go down there. And maybe a split second later, you're going to have the chi that you just picked up. So now you have two different chis and it's going to bug out the chi that you um, picked up with the grenade. And it's going to give you two of the exact same chi. So let's say you get two chis at the same time. And this is going to make the glitch go by a million times quicker. It's really easy to do. And if you guys are confused, just leave a comment and I'll try to help you guys out. That's the glitch, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you want any other kind of glitch tutorial or you need help with a map, let me know. And I gladly help you on my next box. My name is Mistake here and I'll see you guys in the next video.